Okay, radiocarbon dating. Uh, the formula for radioactive decay is important in radiocarbon dating, which is used to calculate the approximate date a plant or animal died. Radiocarbon dating was discovered in 1949 by Willard Libby, who won a Nobel Prize for his discovery. It compares the difference between the ratio of two isotopes of carbon in an organic artifact or fossil to the ratio of those two isotopes in the air. It is believed to be accurate to within 1% error for plants or animals that died within the last 60,000 years. Carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope of carbon that has a half-life of 5,730 years. It occurs in small quantities in the carbon dioxide in the air we breathe. Most of the carbon on Earth is carbon-12, which has an atomic weight of 12 and is not radioactive. Scientists have determined the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 in the air for the last 60,000 years using tree rings and other organic samples of known dates, although the ratio has changed slightly over the centuries. As long as plant or animal is alive, the ratio of the two isotopes of carbon in its body is close to the ratio in the atmosphere. When it dies, the carbon-14 in its body decays and is not replaced. By comparing the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12, in a decaying sample to the known ratio in the atmosphere, the date the plant or animal died can be approximated. Now, since the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years, the formula for the amount of carbon-14 remaining after t years is the following. A is the amount of carbon-14 remaining, and the initial is the amount of carbon-14 when the plant or animal began decaying. This formula is derived as the following. So we're going to use the continuous growth formula. We have 0 0.5 times the initial amount, which is equal to the initial amount e to the k times 5,730 years. Then we're going to divide both sides by the original amount, which leaves us with 0 0.5 e to the 5730k. Take the natural log of both sides. We get k, which is equal to that constant. So now we have that formula. Now, to find the age of an object, we would solve this equation for t. In order to solve for this equation for t, we would get the natural log of the amount of carbon remaining divided by the amount of carbon when the plant or animal began decaying divided by negative 0 0.000121. Now, out of necessity, we neglect here the many details that a scientist takes into consideration when doing carbon-14 dating, and we only look at the basic formula. The ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 in the atmosphere is approximately 0.000000001%. Let R be the ratio of the carbon-14 to carbon-12 in the organic artifact or fossil to be dated, determined by the method called liquid scintillation. From the equation, we know that the ratio of the percentage of carbon-14 in the object we are dating to the percentage of carbon-14 in the atmosphere is given by the following R. So R is now going to represent A divided by A subscript 0. So we would solve this equation for T to get the following. So here is the formula. T, which is equal to the natural log of R, divided by negative 0 0.000121.